Traders, this is an incredibly important video because we are going to be telling you about how to create time ranges on your chart and also how that works with the time intervals at the top and all of the options available to you to create the most perfect chart for your needs. So two quick things to pay attention to is that you have the capability to zoom out as you can see here with these helpful buttons right here. There's also some keyboard shortcuts as well. So if you hover your mouse, you'll see the keyboard shortcut right there. We're on a Mac, so it's going to be Command press up. We can zoom in. If you also have a mouse wheel or a mouse trackpad, you can use two fingers to push up to zoom out or pull forward to zoom in. You can also click and then drag your chart across or drag your chart across again. We're clicking and holding when we do that. So those are two key points to creating a chart that works for you, specifically making sure you have the perfect time range on your chart. Now, there are, also, there are some other helpful tools as well for your time range because you can compress the calendar at the bottom here as needed or expand it or zoom in as needed as well. We are just clicking and holding and then dragging our mouse to do that to the time scale. So now you know the basics of zooming in, zooming out, of pulling your chart across or forward, it's all here for you. But we're really just getting started because now we want to show you these time ranges at the bottom as well. These are really effective tools to quickly see data over a specific period of time. A personal favorite is year to day or year to date. You see it says YTD. So if we click this button, our chart instantly takes us to the start of the current year. There it is, the start of 2024, and shows us the latest price. This means we can track performance since the start of the year right here, right in front of us perfectly. If our chart ever gets messy or messed up or shows a different range, well, let's go right back to our YTD chart just like that. Now, you probably guessed it, that's exactly what these other labels mean as well. Let's look at the last one year of trading. We click one year. Let's look at the last five years of trading. We click five year. Let's go into one month of trading. We click one month. Now, you'll notice when you hover your mouse over these time ranges, you see it says three months and one hour intervals. So it's already preset for you. Six months and two hour intervals year-to-date and one-day intervals. So when we click three months, well, now we are getting three months right here in one-hour intervals. So our chart is set to candlesticks and our intervals are set to one hour. Each candlestick shows one hour of trading and we can see that from a very detailed view. If we go to year-to-date, it says year-to-day and one-day intervals. You can see now our chart says a daily chart. Each candle represents one day of trading. This works for any chart type. So even if it's a line chart, each price point here represents a day. So you're just moving along the price chart here each day at a time. Let's go back to candles. Okay, we are really just getting started here because a favorite tool is the go to button. You can also see here, you've got your keyboard shortcut there as well. We click go to. Now that we have our go to button selected, we have two really important features to show you. We can go to a specific date or we can create a custom range. First of all, we are going to show you going to a specific date. And yep, you guessed it. This is exactly what it sounds like. You can go to any point in time and the chart will automatically show you that point in time and show you what's available on the chart. Keep in mind, you have this helpful calendar here as well, so you can use the arrows to go backward or forward. A great example is, let's just look at this USD JPY chart and go back to July 5th. This is quite literally all we have to do is click the arrows here, July 2023, click the 5th. We also could type the date in as well ourselves if we wished. Let's click go to. And here we are. What's really great about this feature is it even shows you the exact date you were looking to go to right there. Look at this label. So if you were going back in time to study something, to look up an important event, an earnings report, an economic event, some news article, you can type that date into the go to button, be taken back in time and see this perfect label right here. Okay, now that you understand the go to button and the date feature, let's go to the custom range feature. And you guessed it, that's exactly what it sounds like. You get to create your own custom range. This tool allows you to specifically hone in on two points in time. The first date is your starting point. The second date is your ending point. 
So let's, for example, go back to 2023, but let's go back to June, and then let's go back to the 10th, June 10th. And now let's say we want to also go back to June again, but this time we want to go back to the 15th. So we are telling the TradingView platform to show us June 10th as the starting point, June 15th as the ending point, and that's all we want to see. Now we click go to. And just like that, we are zoomed in this daily candle, one, two, three, four, five, five days of trading each date right here in front of us. And if we wish, we could zoom out to get a better feel for where we are. But we had just created that custom range right from the go to button. Keep in mind, in this custom range, we can still use the calendar tools as well to get to where we need. In fact, if we wanted to, we could go back in time quite a ways to pick our first starting point. So that is the go-to button in how you can use it. You may want to go back in time to study a trading period. Maybe you want to look back at trades you did over a period of time. Maybe you want to go to a specific point in time. That's all possible from the go-to button. So now what you're starting to grasp here is all of the features you have to create the perfect time range for you using your chart intervals as well. One final tip, just because this demo is all about times on TradingView is pay attention down here to your time zone. Click this and you can select the time zone of your choice. As you know, my name is Steph. I'm recording this from New York City. I like to have New York selected for that very reason. After all, it's where I'm recording from, so that's the time I want to see. But if I wished, I could have exchange selected, so it would automatically show me the exchange time. But for now, we're going to select New York, even though, indeed, we have so many other options globally. Also, never forget that in your chart settings menu, there are some additional time features that you can take advantage of. You can change your time as well from here. You can add specific decimals to your data modification. And also, if you wish, you can go to your scales and lines to highlight or show some levels related to different periods in time, like previous day close or pre or, pre or post market. We've got tons of videos on our YouTube page about this. So be sure to go check out our YouTube page, subscribe, watch these videos, or read about it in our help center. So that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up our video, and we hope you learned something new. And it all starts with understanding your time ranges down here at the bottom, your special go-to feature to create custom ranges, the ability to make sure your chart time zone is synced to your liking, then, of course, the capability to select which time interval you want, which is how the data will be displayed if it's candlesticks, each candlestick represents a day. If it's a line, each dot or point or plotted point represents a day. And then, of course, you should know how to drag your chart either direction, how to zoom in with your mouse, how to zoom out with your mouse, or even just use these buttons in front of you to do exactly what you need as well, moving to the left or to the right. And actually, one rather helpful point of view here, and it's related to the auto button here as well, is this reset chart view, which you can click at any point in time to reset your view. So ladies and gentlemen, traders all over the world, thank you for watching. We know this video will get you started. You may have also learned something new. Please let us know in the comments below. Please make sure you subscribe and we will see you soon.